there she is, Megan Wu. The love of my life, ever since we were chosen as partners in science class. I knew we had chemistry. We both love Pokemon, Boba. We even had the same bias in BTS. Oh, I love Jungkook. Oh. It was at that moment, she had me Jung shook. This is it, I'm gonna ask her out. What should I say? Hey, are you Blackpink? Because I want you in my area. <laughs> no, that's stupid. Hey, are you a member of TWICE? Because you make me feel special. No, that's stupid. I got it. Oh, uh, hey, Megan. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm, uh, I'm good. Um, good. Hey, question. Are you- Hey, babe. Hey. How you doing? What's up, dude? What's up? How you doing? Oh. Good, dude. All right. Bye, Paul. Ciao. <laughs> no! Are all the white guys stealing your girls? Maybe you've noticed it around town or even on TV. In any Asian white relationship, the girl's always Asian and the guy is always white. But it's never an Asian guy with a white girl. I mean, let's take a look. What? Let's do this. Whoa, 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 wait, this doesn't work. Ah, shoot, that's right. The Hulk is green. Okay, now let's think of some popular examples of Asian guys with white girls. Uh, shoot, um, uh, does this count? Boing! Right off the bat, let me be clear. <laughs> I really don't care. I know some people will be really angry typing in the comments. Yeah, you. I see you. Stop it. Y'all gonna say, who cares about this? Love is love. Let people date who they want. And guess what? I agree with you. Date whoever you want. Marry whoever you want. As long as you guys love each other. I don't really care, it's none of my business. So what is the point of this video? Well, I want to find out if the myth is actually true. Are white guys actually stealing all the Asian girls? Now, it's an old saying, but is there any truth to it? Or is it just some statement that some angry Asian men made up for not having dates? Me and my sister are gonna do a little experiment. Hello. We're each gonna go on Tinder, and we're each gonna swipe 20 times for the next five days, making it a total of 100 swipes. And the reason I picked my sister is because, well, she's my sister. And I assume, you know, we're about the same level attractiveness wise, I guess, I don't know. So at the end of the five days, we're gonna see whoever has the most matches. And whoever has the most matches wins. We're gonna see how this goes. You know what would make this so much more interesting? <laughs> whoever won got 50 bucks. <laughs> Wait, what? So, you want to bet on this? Yes. If I win, you pay me 50 bucks. But if I win, I get 50 bucks. If you win. <laughs> okay. You know what? You know what? Okay, let's go. Game. Deal. All right. She's going to pay me 50 bucks. If I win, game on. Several days later. All right. So it's been five days and we each did 100 swipes on Tinder. I got 47 matches. What? Really? Uh, <laughs> what? I got a whopping uh, <laughs> four matches. That's so sad. <laughs> sad guy, sad guy. Anyways, a deal's a deal. So I'm gonna pay up $50. Thank you. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Uh, you're not really fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so obviously I got my butt kicked. I got destroyed. I got slaughtered by my sister. But is it because people in America don't like Asian guys? Or am I just ugly? So I'm gonna do another experiment to test that out. I'm on this app called EME Hive. 
It's a dating app for Asians and Asian Americans and pretty much anyone that wants to find Asians. With this app, I can find out if just everyone doesn't like me or if it's just non-Asians. It might be everyone. So we're here, setting up my profile, adding photos. How, how, many, how many photos do you think I should put in? I don't know, how's that for my first photo? You know what's also cool? Avatar. Let's put one of these guys in. Bam, what do you think? You guys like my selection? Let me know down below in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, best one. What's cool about EME Hive is that you can select which type of ethnicity you're interested in, um, but let's just pick all of them. So there's other filters that you can put on here, like their marital status, if they drink, what kind of languages they speak. Ah, shoot, there's no Valerian on here. Uh, if they smoke, what's their income? Of course, I only go for the finest. <laughs> so it just makes it so you can customize your search to exactly to your preferences. That way, you're only getting shown people that you want. That's definitely a lot more Asian people than Tinder. All right, so I did 20 smiles. I'll see how many smiles and messages I get in the next few days. Several days later. All right guys, so it's been five days. I'm gonna go ahead and open up EME Hive and see how many messages and smiles I've received. Opening it up and... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so I received three smiles and 63 messages, holy. A total of 66 people either wanted to message me or let them know that they were interested. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm no scientist, but if my math checks out, that's definitely a lot more than four. So yeah, this whole time I thought it was ugly, but turns out I'm just Asian. I mean, look at all of this. So yeah. Turns out that Asian girls like Asian guys more than white girls like Asian guys, I guess. <laughs> the last time this many people liked me was when I opened up a pack of gum in class. You know what this means, right? It means I got more matches than my sister. Ha, take that. So in any given year, according to the US Census Bureau, there are approximately 2.1 million marriages a year and approximately 17% of those were interracial. Okay, let's say that there were approximately 357,000 interracial marriages in a year. Of that 357,000, 11% were white, 18% were black, 27% were Hispanic, and an outstanding 29%, nearly a third of all interracial marriages were from an Asian, making them the race most likely to marry outside the race, which would be approximately 104,000 a year. Okay, well that doesn't necessarily mean anything, right? I mean, what about Asian guys? They're included in this statistic also. Let's go deeper. So in 2010, it was reported that 15.3% of all Asian wives had a white husband. So now let's compare this to the other side. For Asian husbands, only 7% of them had a white wife. That's less than half. Wow. wow. So does everyone just not like Asian guys or something? Well, according to a study by Columbia University, women were 33% less likely to respond affirmatively to Asian men than to members of other races. In fact, according to another study by Columbia University, all things being equal, Asian men would have to earn $247,000 more to be considered an equal suitor. Right, $247,000 more per year to be equal to him. So let's say you have two guys, Brad and Nick. Brad and Nick are pretty much the same in everything. Same physical attractiveness, same personality, same height, same GPA in college, they like the same memes, they play the same sports, and they both listen to the same music. Only difference is Brad earns $53,000 a year. Nick would have to earn $300,000 just to be seen as an equal mate. But why is that? Why is it so common for an Asian girl to be with a white guy, but so rare for a white girl to be with an Asian guy? Do we, do we smell or something? Is it because I watch too much anime? I asked some people to get their opinion on why this is. I think it's because that Asian guys tend to study a lot in college and they focus most of the time on studying and getting a good job. By the time we graduate, um, 
all the Asian girls are gone. I think that it has partially to do with attraction. I think more often, um, I personally know more white men who tend to be attracted to Asian women than white women who are attracted to Asian men. I would assume that it has to do with imperialism, um, internalized misogyny, and racism. Just from the guys that I dated, they weren't shy to tell and be forward about their feelings. It's a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, aggressive. In dating and... Yeah, in height. Obviously not me, but you know, white guys are probably a little more bit more taller. on average taller. Honestly, I think it's because we're really cute, you know? <laughs> well, you know, it's for that green card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put that in the video. <laughs> White men perform better in the bedroom. Many Asian girls prefer dating white men instead. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? John M. Kong of the University of Michigan in his article, Deconstructing the Ideology of White Aesthetics stated, while Asian men tend to be derided because their bodily aesthetics contradict popular white notions of masculinity, the bodily aesthetics of Asian women are lauded because they complement, and perhaps even symbolize, the ideal of femininity. As Asian men are perceived as physically small and weak, so too are Asian women. However, a small physical build has been traditionally associated with ideas of submissiveness, passivity, and vulnerability qualities indicative of feminine beauty. Therefore, it is not unusual to find white men being fascinated with the racial exoticism of Asian women, often to such an extent that it eclipses the femininity of white women. So according to this article, the idea that white men go for Asians is because Asian women are supposedly submissive and feminine, while Asian men are small and weak, which is just not ideal for white women. I went and asked some Asian women that are married to white men to see what was their opinion on this. I think the effort to vilify or at least mildly shame certain population for, you know, ming mingling across races is racism in itself. It's like there's no need and no requirement to maintain some sort of racial purity within marriages. I think we've, we're over that. A lot of people argue that history, racism, and society are the reasons for this, but Wong Fu Productions gave a really simple answer that I tend to lean towards. In this whole thing you have about whites and Asians, the blame is not on the white boys or on the Asian kids. The blame is on the individual. But what about... Eh? It is because Asian guys just don't have the confidence or assertiveness needed to start up a conversation with a girl. You need to be more assertive. It is not because white boys have this or that or have this magical power. It is because the majority of Asian guys are too fancy and they have very, very small confidence. So to answer the first question, are white guys stealing all the Asian girls? Well, remember what I shared earlier that 15.3% of Asian wives had white husbands, 82.5% of Asian women also had Asian husbands. The majority of Asian girls are dating Asian guys. So are white guys stealing all the Asian girls? Absolutely not. So for all the Asian guys out there that are worried about all the Asian girls being stolen, fear not. We'd like to thank EME Hive for partnering with us on this video. If you're like me and you don't live in LA or Seattle, then chances are there aren't a lot of Asians in your area. EME Hive is super cool. It connects you with Asians all over the world. And if they're on this app, then chances are they're looking to date other Asians as well. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.